everybody. Quick interruption before we get back into watching the VOD. Uh, currently, as of recording this, it is October 11th, which is Jack's birthday, and I did promise sometime during the VOD that I would do a uh, ten pull for Jack's birthday bloom outfit, which is his birthday thing. So let's get that figured out real quicky quick and also, you know, get to look at his birthday stuff. I'm going to be doing this for whenever it hits a birthday. Woohoo! ちょうど誕生日に咲くなんて。偶然とはいえ嬉しいぜ。お、いいぜ。俺が説明してやるよ。いざ、ごめん。はい。イエー、ティー。レッツヒア。レッツヒア。レッツヒア。レッツヒア
<laughs> gave me a um gave me a lot of these and one of their favorite boys is Jack. I'm going to do another one for them. Also this. Mhm. Mm <gasps> Rook. I love Rook. Bonjour. Kimi wa watashi ni donna sekai o misete kureru ndai? Love him. Unfortunately, not the Leona Sweet. Oh boy. <laughs> we get to do that one later. Uh Wait, I got some keys. Oh, I forgot I had keys. Let's go. Mmm, silver. Yep. Ah, uh, Trey. All right. Okay. Now, like I said, Benefactor loves it. Let's go. One more. Just one. That's it. That's all we're getting. Crossing fingers. Mmm. Uh-uh. Oh, I'm excited. He's based on the Huntsman from Snow White. He's so interesting. Mm? Oh? Oh my god! Another rug! Hi! Oh my god, I'm being so spoiled today! It's not my birthday. Hi, Rook. Hi. You don't want Jack, you want me. Okay. Just work coming over being like, Hello, Kyo. Hi. <laughs> Heard you were looking for a wolf. Why well, have wolf when you have moi? Okay. Oh my god, another? Azul. Nice. Oh, thank you. A rare. <gasps> Sebek! Normal Sebek! Yippee! Ah! Okay. Oh, Where opportunity to get to see his mouth. <gasps> Ooh, P. Evil. Hello. Utskisa no Tamenara, Donna Doryokum Oshkuana. I don't think we're getting Jack. Oh, hi, Cater. What's up, baby girl? What's up, girly pop? You got it. Yeah, unfortunately. Didn't get it, but damn, we got a lot of super rares today, though. Magic Cam Celebrity. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, we could not get Jack. Unless Benefactor gives me more gotcha points. However, what I can do... Is we go to the shop. Hi, Arthur. Limited time. And then we can buy his broom. So we'll still have him in our hearts. 
Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Don't say that while you're in Savannah Claw Ortho! Oh my god! But, yes. Happy birthday, Jack! By the time you watch this, it'll be far past Jack's birthday. But anyway, on to the episode. Let's do some fun vignettes. Again, this is in the future, so we'll be handling these vignettes in the future episode. But yeah, um... Here. He's doggy. He's doggy. He's doggy. I love doggy. He's got little beans on his fingertips. <gasps> oh my god, he does. Run with the dogs. You are the dog. Puppy. Puppy. And again, if you guys ever want to give me more gems for more gotcha for a specific thing that you want, feel free to PayPal me. Is that a motherfucking aircraft carrier? Alright, it's time for the vignettes! Eleven! <laughs> yeah, how many do you actually want to do today? Oh my god, we have a lot. Maybe one from each dorm? Okay. Sneeze. Well, I gotta do the tray one. Yes. Because I did say the... I gotta... I said we gotta. So we gotta. Open your mouths! Open your mouths. And this is the first time you're ever seeing this one, too. Yeah, like, actually, earlier today, I finally got Trey's rare card, but I hadn't actually read the vignette yet. So this is my first time actually seeing this vignette. Okay, do you still want to be Trey? Because this one includes Ace, Deuce, and Trey. Okay, then, like, uh... See. So far this stream, I've done Trey and Juice. Do you have any preference on who I take? No. Okay, then, uh, I guess I'll take Trey. Okay. Or do you want to keep being Deuce? Sure, then I can keep being Deuce. Deuce. Okay, I can be Trey. Yes, Lubo? Open your mouths! Okay. Heart Slip Yule Dorm Lounge. One, two, three, and four. Yup. Yup. Ace, deuce, tray, cater. Quatre. One, two, three, and four. Yup. Because they're cards. Cards! Shoot. Gotta hurry since it's almost lights out. I think I'm gonna brushing. Not a gargle. <laughs> and done. Woo! Wait, Ace. That's only once. The Queen of Hearts rule number 648. One must brush one's teeth twice over after eating turkey. The House Warden even reminded us several times. Oh, quit being such a goody two shoes. It's not like he's watching us, so. Good night! Unfortunately for you, the Vice House Warden is. Ah! Oh, Trey! Oh, oh, I've got the worst look. <laughs> the best look, if you ask me. I won't say a word to the House Warden as long as you do what you're supposed to. See? Trey is kind enough to let minor errors in judgment slide if you work to make up for it. Okay, I give. I'll still say it's a dumb roll, but I'll brush him. Before you two start, though, open your mouths and let me have a look-see. Uh, <laughs> oops. Um... There is no way that's one of the rules. <sighs> Sorry, uh, force a habit from back home. It was my job to make sure my younger siblings really brushed their teeth. 
Gotcha. Sure. I can believe that. You're an older brother, Trey? Yeah, I've got a little brother and sister. No wonder you have such a knack for looking after everyone. Thinking back, you've always had a kind older brother thing going on. You're always calmly watching over us. Can't even imagine you getting angry. Is that what I'm like? What? You never noticed? Even Riddle Me Fitz leans on you. He calls. He just calls your name and you're right there to fix the problem. You have to tell you what it is. You're practically superhuman. Oh no, you're just trying to butter me up. But that won't get you out of brushing your teeth again. There goes that plan. Damn. That wasn't my plan. Oh, but I see the bristles on your brushes are looking a little worn. How about I give you both my spares? Really? Thank you. Stuff like this is what I meant when I say you reminded me of an older brother. Uh, yeah, I see it now. I'm sure I'll notice myself doing it all the time now that you've pointed it out. Just how many spares do you have? Did you rob a dentist? Oh, these aren't spares. I use a different brush for different parts of my mouth. On purpose? There's a regular brush, but there's also a bunch of little brushes with funny shapes. Each one has a specific use. One for your whole mouth, one for the back, stuff like that. The fan-shaped one is for scraping your tongue. And I use floss after I'm done, of course. It's just like you not to skimp on the... It's just like you not to skimp on the details. That's wild! All that for just brushing teeth?! Teeth can't heal themselves once they've gone bad, so I can say you can never be too vigilant. Well, maybe I'm just more conscious of that fact since most than most since I grew up in a patisserie. Proper dental care was drilled into me from day one. Thankfully, it's paid off. I get a clean bill of health every time I go to visit the dentist. I'm impressed. Me, I hate going to the dentist. Then I'll teach you some better brushing habits. Maybe they'll help you avoid that drill? Ugh. Even thinking about it makes my teeth hurt. Are you really going along with this? We're not kids. At least, I don't need to be taught squat. I mean, taught shit. Age is irrelevant when it comes to brushing teeth. With how often our dorms hold tea parties with sweets, I'd argue that getting the fundamentals down is more, is more important than ever. My preschool teacher baby me less than you. Would this be the correct angle for holding the toothbrush? So this is really happening, huh? I'm gonna be real, if I was in this situation, I would exactly be like Deuce and be like, Oh, you got some, like, special interest knowledge about, like, toothbrush stuff? Can you, like, tell me? I'm really fascinated to learn. Mm -hmm. If you hold it like that, you won't ever get between your teeth and gums. A 45 degree angle is best. Orca? You could use your... You could use your, <laughs> you could use your finger. Now you've got it. Be sure to hold it at a right angle when brushing the front. Yep. This is really happening. Get to it, Ace! Yes, Mom! Uh, where'd my toothpaste go? You're welcome to use mine. Cool, thanks. Stop right there. That is entirely too much paste. What? The abrasives inside toothpaste can damage your enamel. You need only a smidgen of it to get the job done. Oh, thanks. Ah, that's too much force, Deuce. You're liable to cause damage if you keep that up. Oh. Use gentle, quick strokes. No need for a vice grip on the brush either. Hold it with the same force you would a pen. It's good that you're taking it seriously. Brush it off now and you won't have any teeth left to brush it later. <sighs> that was a lot. It's finally over. First I thought you were just looking out for us the way you always do, but now... You're just some kind of weird dentistry nerd! I'm honestly freaked out by how into this you are! Okay, one final check. Open your mouth, so I... Oops, I... 
did it again. What? Uh, sorry, again. Like I said, force of habit. Tooth Fairy, meet your natural born enemy! Tell me about it. So there's the tooth. Yep. <laughs> you, you heard it here! All of you have a job tonight, you gotta brush your teeth! Trey said! Okay, I heard Jack. Caught red-handed. Ooh. I'll be Jack. Yeah, you be Jack. Dog. <sighs> the cafeteria is pretty crowded. I'll probably just take the whole lunch break just to get through the line. Might be better if I just start cooking for myself and eat in the classroom. Um. that rotten smell coming from. It's all over the cafeteria. A beast man's nose like mine is better than most. I can't be the only one smelling this. Some kind of dangerous potions at work here. The school will be able to panic in no time. Then I won't be able to practice today. I gotta find the source and take care of it before anyone else notices. <sighs> but I could hunt it down quickly enough with my signature smell, but I can't use it in a place like this. Time to follow my nose. Wait a sec. Is it coming from that seat in the right-hand corner? Ooh! How's it floating, sea urchin? If it isn't Jack Howell, come to join us for lunch by any chance. Not exactly. I got a question for you two. Mind showing what's in that briefcase you got down there? Now, now. We're in a cafeteria. If you're in the mood for business, I'll have to ask that you meet us in the Mostro Lounge after class. Besides, if you're itching to see what's inside, then you gotta make nice and pay the price. You're up to something shady again, aren't you? Now hand it over! What was that? You wanna throw down? You heard me. Let me see what's inside, now! Ah, uh, no. Don't force it open! <laughs> what kind of weird liquid is this? This isn't even what I was smelling before! More of an ocean smell. It happens to be the latest beauty lotion we've developed. We were planning to hand this to our client, but now... Ah, uh, it wasn't anything dangerous after all. Sorry for jumping to conclusions, I'll pay you back. Uh. There's that smell again. Two seats down to the left, that's it! There he goes. You've gotta be kidding me. You're the culprit? You wanna be Apple or do you want me to be Apple? Uh, I mean, you're taking on Jack, so I can take on Apple. Yeah. Culprit? Uh... Hello, Jack. Do you need something? Okay, come clean, Apple. Show me what it is you're hiding. I... I was just enjoying some vichyssoise and risotto. Really. You can't fool my nose. You're about to be caught red-handed! <laughs> Could you stop sniffing like that? Um... Please. Got it! It's coming from your coat pocket! <laughs> Wait! Is this a food container? Well, time for the big reveal! <gasps> big reveal! New subscriber! Oh, thank you, Nightfield Sweet, for, <laughs> for subscribing! Yay! I hope you enjoy your time here! Us being sillies. Now, what's in the pocket? <laughs> a picture gif it's a cat smelling broccoli. <laughs> It's packed with onions! That's right. Sliced onions, chopped onions, shredded onions. Oh, and onion oil as well. I hate onions. Why do you even have these on your pocket in the first place? Um, 
Well, my house warden said that I needed to focus on eating full-course meals with impeccable manners this week. But they've all been rather lacking in flavor, so I've gotten into the habit of sprinkling onions on my food when no one's looking. You've been part of my life for so long, I just go back like, Aww! Thank you, Nightfield Sweet! That's very kind of you! Aww. Now, I hope you have something you'd like to say to me. Yeah, um, I'm sorry for suspecting you and messing up your lunch. I apologize. I'll forgive you if you eat every last one of the onions here. You realize onions are poisonous to dogs, right? What? No! Anything but that! It's poison! Kidding. I wouldn't do that to someone who knows how to give a proper apology, oh. and I wouldn't literally kill you. <sighs> you haven't I'm not anything Phil. to earn my ire yet. Oh. Say, since you're here, how would you like to join me for lunch? Uh, sure, I guess. About time. We're in the same class, but we've really talked to each other before now. Then let him die! <laughs> Just please keep those onions as far away from me as possible. <laughs> uh. Yep, I'm seeing plenty of oolalas in the chat. Yep, oolalas in the chat. Jack Apple. Alright, Jade. Oh, if only we got the P.E. outfit, but that's another oh. time. Oh, well. But you you can keep being Jade. I like your Jade. Oh, thank you. Uh-huh. I, I enjoy doing very refined voices. You're very good. You're not called Dignified Austria for nothing. Yep, yep. Hmm. This is a tad too astringent. Perhaps I should try some different leaves. Oh, it's this one. Jade? What are you doing back here? Ah! Oh, what's with all the leaves and cups? You appear to be in high spirits today, Gleam, as always. As for this, I was experimenting with various brewing methods. You sure went all out. These are all super high quality leaves, aren't they? How long did this trek take you? Six hours? You can tell? Their fragrances are totally different from the ones over there. My country's all about drinking tea, so they stood out right away. I would have never guessed you were such an expert on tea. As they say, one can never judge a book by its cover. In the Scalding Sands, tea is a must during every meal and break. It's also customary to take out special tea leaves when entertaining guests. Hmm. Color me intrigued by this custom of yours. But I trouble you to teach me how it's brewed. Sure thing! It's easy enough to pick up, and it's always nice to share more about my kingdom. First things first. Place the tea leaves in the kettle and boil them. The trick is to put in so many that you almost worry it's too much. I'm sure that would make it very flavorful indeed. Next, you prep some herbs in a pot. With today's leaves, uh, here. Let's fill the pot with about 70% of the way using these two herbs. You even have your own blend. You really are an expert at this. Ah, more like it goes to show how often I drink tea. <laughs> the herbs make the tea easier to drink on hot days, which is crucial in the scalding sands. It certainly sounds like it. We wouldn't drink it this way where I'm from. Where's that again? I was born in the Coral Sea, a place very much different from your arid desert kingdom. You were born in the sea? Yeah, that's about as different as it gets. What's it like there, if you don't mind me asking? The sea? The sea is... how shall I say... To first-time visitors, it must seem like a very cold and dark place. Ah, really? Indeed. After all, no light reaches the seabed, nor is it possible to light a fire. You never know what's lying in wait around the corner. You must keep vigilant at all hours. That's kind of terrifying to imagine, actually. And unlike the food of surface dwellers, rare is the day we eat anything sweet. 
Our food is normally consumed raw. Yes! I couldn't do that, not in a million years. I'm surprised you can live down there. Does it repulse you that much? I find it to be a quite comfortable and pleasant kingdom, person. Although I have heard talk of wayward merfolk becoming obsessed with the surface. I can't say I understand why. Oh, the tea finished brewing already. So, just put out the fire. And then pour the tea into the herb-filled pot. My, does that smell divine. I almost can't wait to savor it. And last but not least, you add the sugar. Ah, sugar for ball feels awful, right? Strange. I just replenished it, so there should be 30 or so cubes in there. Only 30? Well, if that's all we got, then I'll just have to do. Is that... Not enough? When it comes to tea, the sweeter the better! Nothing says luxury like a pot of sweet tea. Or so it is said back home, the custom began after a sugar shortage that shot up its value up sky high. Avocado cookie, I think, would agree with you. <laughs> then again, avocado cookie would agree in you in a lot of ways. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be shy with it now. We'll use the... We'll need to use every last cube. M must we... Must we use all of it? Yep, in they go. Blop, 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 blop. Ah! And now we have our tea. Pour yourself a cup like so. And done! Go on, drink up! How is it? Delicious, isn't it? Its exquisitely tart fragrance balances well with the refreshing selection of herbs. It's also, um, sweet enough to saturate one's teeth. Right? Don't you love the feeling of it coursing through your whole body with every sip? It's interesting. I feel as though my teeth may start falling out all at once. Much? Oh, you said you could never get a chance to eat sweets in the sea, right? It makes me happy to be the one to share some with you. So drink up. There's plenty of tea left. Ah. So there is. Thank you. To tell the truth, though, this pot here isn't nearly sweet enough. Let me see if I can hunt down some more sugar. Hey! M more? I I'm, I'm sure that's hardly necessary. Well, off he goes. Still, I'm curious what Azul what? and Floyd would say were they to try this. Khalim, you forgot your meds again! No, <laughs> too busy finding sugar! Khalim! The world of tea is far more vast than I ever imagined. Yep, in Jade's little bio, it says his special talent is making tea. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, speaking of, do you want a Jamil or a Khalim? Chat, you decide. Which one are we getting from Scrabia today? Jamil or Khalim? One Jamil, Kaleem, Kaleem, get your boy in this. Okay, we're seeing a, we're seeing a tendency towards Kaleem. Because we did just see him, That's so let's true. see what he's up to. Hanging out, oh boy! <laughs> let's go! Mr. S's Mystery Shop. Let's see, I bought dried fruit, spices, yep, this should be everything on the list. Alright, tonight's banquet is a go! Ah, oh no, the banana chips are fun! Got it. Riddled. Here you are. <sighs> you're a lifesaver, Riddle. Thanks a bunch. That's quite the load you're carrying, Kaleem. We're holding a banquet for our new students tonight, so this is for that. You're a house warden, but you were the one tasked with running the errands. Alone. Is that weird? 
I was doing decorations at first, but Yamiya suddenly insisted that he'd handle those. Oh, I was so excited about making the tables glitter by sprinkling them with gold and jewels too. Hmm. I can imagine why Jamil was so adamant about taking over. It worked out though, because then I was appointed the Vizier of Shopping! Though they found a tactful way to toss you out. You say something? Not a thing. While your efforts toward arranging this welcome party are laudable, do, you, do not forget your position as housewarden. It hasn't been long since you assumed the role, but you've yet to make an effort to act the part. I recall some very loud yawns at our last meeting. If you were a member of Hearts Labule, I'd have had your head for that. That's funny. Whenever I yawn in Scarabia, Yamil prepares my bed for me. You and Leona are immaculate examples of how one can be ill-suited to be weak house leaders. Speaking of, are you getting enough sleep, Redoof? You seem really on edge. All that stress is going to take a toll on you. Must I stand here and take advice from you? Uh, you are so lucky to have Jamil to look after you. He's the best. He's a good cook, he's smart, and to top it off, he's a super nice guy. Why does Colleen pronounce Jamil's name like Jamil? That's something I kind of picked up from a friend of mine, Fed. Of like, in Arabian, it's kind of pronounced with it with the um, J's being a Y sound and the K being more harsh, like, of, you know, the more Arabian. So I thought it'd be fitting, you know, because, you know, commonly we call them Kaleem and Jamil. So I thought it'd be fitting for Kaleem and Jamil to refer to each other in the proper pronunciation of Kaleem and Yamil. So that's a personal headcanon of mine. You don't have to do it. I just like doing it. Okay, I was wondering where you picked that up, too. Yeah, because, um... Fed spent some time in Saudi Arabia for a while for oh. their military work, so they also have the habit of calling them that too. Okay. My <laughs> voice thinks. I never thought I'd envy people who can't see so much. What? What was that? Nothing. Soon, soon, piece of shit. <laughs> ah, callback. Super nice guy. Yamil is the one making all the food for tonight's banquet too. Yeah, I have everyone else call him Kaleem and Jamil. It's only those two that call each other the proper pronunciation. I, again, my personal headcanon. You don't gotta. So you're saying it's the Vice House Warden who keeps Scarabia running? And you're fine with that? <laughs> it's all about teamwork, right? You don't have to take everything upon yourself either, you know? If you ever need help, you can always come to me. And I ask again, must I stand here and take advice from you? Oh, forget it. Shouldn't you be focusing more on your task at hand? The cooking can't start until the Vizier of Shopping returns. Ah, oh, crud! You're right! Catch you later, Riddle! Goodbye, Kaleem. Hmm? Why did you stop? <laughs> Come back! Because I think you should come to the banquet! I should what? We're both sophomore house wardens, so it's about time we hung out as friends. I appreciate the invitation, but it's far too short notice for me to... We're gonna pig out on your meal spread and drink and sing and have all kinds of fun. Ah, uh, but I never agreed to... Everyone's gonna flip after they hear we've got Hearts Libio's house warden coming as our honored guest. I have other plans tonight. I must see to my broom in preparation for tomorrow's flight class and... Flying? <gasps> that gives me a great idea! I've got an amazing carpet in my room. We could use it to take a night ride through the diamond sky as tonight's main entertainment. You and me. Sound fun? A night ride? You couldn't possibly mean one of those flying carpets, could you? I can show you the world. Not just could, I am! Come tonight, and we'll be freewheeling to the ends of the world together! Um, well, I may perhaps have a smidgen of interest. After all, such artifacts are counted among the Scalding Sands National Treasures. Shining, shimmering, splendid. I could hardly refuse such an opportunity, and the experience could prove valuable on my own study of flight. Tell me, Riddle. It's the last time you let your heart decide. Why are you touching me? Nothing. 
banana chips. Then it's decided! I shall arrive later tonight with a gift in hand. Mm. I should do nicely, I think. I'll have Trey prepare one, so that you can have a taste of what we enjoy at our dorm's tea party. Don't... don't bother. What? Uh, sorry. It, it's just that I only eat what Ymir makes me. Why? Back home, I can't even tell you how many times I fell ill after eating things that were prepared for me by others. And I'm not talking about little stomach aches. I'd be unconscious in the infirmary for days on end. Ymir and Dad used to say that was the fate of the Yassim family's eldest son. Anyway... I've made it a rule not to touch anything other than the food Yamil made personally. So I appreciate the offer, but I'll have to pass. The Asim family is known the world over for its vast wealth. If you're the eldest son with plenty of siblings beneath you, would it be that you were poisoned? Oh, yeah. standing around means I'm going to be extra late, huh? Yamil is going to be mad. Anyway. See you tonight, Rita! Perhaps that boundless positivity can befit a house warden after all. I will say, too, it's happened on the other foot, too. What do you mean, the other foot? Of uh, Jamil has been poisoned by meals that were meant for Kaleem, too. Right. That, that's a thing we learn in another vignette, right? Yeah, I forget which vignette it is, because it, uh, I read it via the wiki, but unfortunately, it was Jamil's favorite dish that did him in, so he's not allowed to have it. Curry. But in turn, it's Kaleem's least favorite dish of all, because he was so beside himself in worry of Jamil was, like, literally in the infirmary for days on end, and he was just worried sick about him. Oh boy, we got Bill. We got Apple. Well, chat. Which one? Bill. Apple. Roll. Bounce. Roll. Bounce. Apple. Apple. Bill. 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 Uh. <laughs> Bill. 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 <laughs> the sides. <guy. laughs> oh, it's balanced. Oh boy. Well, we did. We did Jack and Apple earlier. So let's 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 see what yeah, Apple's up to. Yeah, let's see what Apple's up to. Here, let's take a guess. That what? Yeah, what? What? What are we guessing, Apple? You can be Apple again. Okay, Onion Boy. Ooh, done. Even Bill ought to be pleased with this apple carving. It's this one. I felt put on the spot when he said he wanted to see my skills, but this bird carving has turned out pretty well. You there! Palm Fiori student! Is anyone using that seat next to you? You're... Sebek from Class D, right? Go for it. Thank you! The cafeteria is so crowded at lunch that it becomes a battle finding an open seat! Hmm? What in the name of the Fairy of Thorns is that? Eh, don't yell like that! You nearly gave me a heart attack! Never have I seen a more beautifully crafted apple! It looks as though it could fly from your plate at any moment! Yeah, pretty nice, huh? It's magnificent! It would please me to present this to the master himself! Who? I speak of the house warden of the great Diasomnia, Malleus Draconia! Wow, you actually call him that? It sounds like something out of a period drama. I'm about to have my period. <laughs> that apple wouldn't happen to be your dessert, would it? Oh, I'm not going to eat it. This is for Bill. Ah, so it belongs to Pomfioi's house warden. That is unfortunate. Well then, I simply have to find the chef and entreat them to make a new one. Chef? You mean the person or... who made this, right? Yes. Would you tell me who it was? Me. I made it. You did? Bill asked me to make one for him. 
when I told him I got some fruit from my family, he said he wanted to try one at its at its most beautiful. You must come from a respectable family if you were sent such lustrous fruit. Uh, that's a stretch. Pardon, but your name is Apple. Apple Felmier. Fun fact. That's a Romanian last name. This boy, Romanian farmer boy. It's Romanian for farmer. Yeah, like, I don't know if it's actually used as a last name in Romania, but I did see, like, the trivia bit on the wiki that Thelmir, or however it's pronounced, pronounced in Romanian, is the Romanian word for farmer. Yeah, because he's a little farmer boy. And he's a little farm boy. I see. Well, Apple, can you carve anything besides that bird? Yeah. I can do a few variations. Mm. Would it be any trouble to show them to me? So you can give them to your house ward? That would be the primary reason, yes. But I also have a personal interest in seeing them. It is a fascinating art, truly. You think so? Then how about this? It's so detailed, too! You've cut the layers so finely that I could easily mistake them for real petals! Here's another one. <gasps> Staring with big, wet eyes. Is that... a castle? Why, it even has spires and little windows! And this one's my specialty. Care to take a guess what this is? It's an apple? What? <laughs> nope. It's not just any old apple. It's a poison apple. <gasps> My word! It takes some innovation to carve an apple from an apple! <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like... Voice requests from earlier. <laughs> apple flax. Apple flax. Okay. Feel the need to bite some ankles. Leona, I know it's against rules, but I'm gonna go fucking feral. Relax, says Leona. He's too gay for his housewarden to think of anyone else. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, positive. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to sleep. If you don't mind, do you think I could take this poison apple? Go ahead. You have my gratitude! I can't reiterate enough how in awe I am of your skill! Well, if an apple is bruised or damaged, no one wants to buy it anymore. It doesn't matter if that it's still perfectly edible. I went through a lot of trial and error looking for ways to make undesirables look appetizing. That's when I discovered apple carving. I cut my fingers more than I can count getting it down. My family laughed at me, insisting it wouldn't matter, but I didn't want to give up. In time, I finished, car I finished my first good carving. I was so proud that I ran around everywhere showing it off. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to ramble. Not at all! I just learned your ambition is on par with your skill! What a pleasure it's been! What a pleasure it is to meet you! <laughs> Thank you. If you want, maybe I can make some more for you when I get a new shipment. Friendship. friendship! It's unfortunate we missed the harvesting event, because you really get to see their friendship shine through that. Yeah, like if, like, anyone who's, like, just getting into Twisted Wonderland recently, I highly recommend going on YouTube, seeing if you can find a compilation of, like, all the scenes from harvesting event i'm forgetting exactly what it's called but you can you can, you can, you can find harvesting it. like sledding honestly yeah but yes highly recommend idiot <sighs> i was idiot last time so i could be him again yeah sure oh god oh god oh god that's what he sounds like <laughs> ah uh. Day's finally over. Get back to my room ASAP. That game's getting a new event patched in today. Doing that and everything else, I swear, I have barely time to waste on classes. 
Gotta grind the limited time mat so I can grab that exclusive equipment. Fully uncap the free event character. And oh yes. Oh! Ah, uh, oh, sorry. I wasn't looking where I was. Ah! You need to pay attention, but <gasps> Idia! My you're looking gloomy as ever! <laughs> it's Kaleem all seem ranked first among my Raven College's most cheerful characters. Or my tier list. He's about as opposite as he gets to me. So why does I have to bump to him of all people? Uh-oh. You want her, don't you? Um, it's so bad you can't even speak, huh? Yeah, let me take a look. H how do your ankles feel? Anything else I should check? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm fine. Huh? Sorry, I, I didn't catch that. Hold on, I have a thing for this. Ooh, what do you use for his, his iPad voice? Like, when I was playing... This girl. Yeah. Okay, you were saying. Oh, I was just saying that, like, early on when I played this game, my... Ah! Oh! What happened? What happened? Oh. Oh, thank God. Uh, but, like, my instinct was, like, wait, is he using a... Is he, like... Is there any voice mod going on? And my brain was just like, when he's speaking through the through the iPad, it's just James Wood's voice. <laughs> James Wood AI. I'm fine. I'm not hurt. Phew! That's a relief. You gave me a shock when you swung around all the way. <laughs> you swung around out of nowhere the way you did. Or, hold on, I got a better one. Oh. Speaking of AI voices. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a hurry today. He's using one of his waifu, like, handle voices. Because <laughs> it's, it's canonical. He's like, oh my god, best girl, best girl, best girl. Especially with fucking the, um... Harvest an event. So yeah, he <laughs> I like to think he's using the voice synthesizer for one of his uh anime waifus. Yeah. Are you using that tablet to communicate because your throat hurt or something? Not really. You know, when you're not feeling so hot, first thing you gotta do is eat better. Oh, come on! And have some of Yumiya's food with me. Like did I trip to jump to hang out? No one can beat Yumiya's cooking. You'll be in top form in no time. No, 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 no. This is a bad end. I'm gonna be stuck making small talk over food with this ball of sunshine. I'm gonna die. I just want to go and play the new event. What do you think? Great idea, right? It's okay. Like, thank you, but no thank you, because it'd probably be a real pain for Jamil if I just showed up like that. It'll be fine, trust me! He always makes food for me anyway, so adding one or two more people to the mix won't make that much of a difference! No, I'm sure it mega bothers him, so seriously? Oh my god, it's KK! Do you want to be KK? Sure. Hey there! If it isn't Idia and Kaleem, talk about a surprise combo. No! Why is that party animal from Glass here now, too? Oh, bonjour, messieurs. You look like you're enjoying yourself over here. And now the experience with mysterious book hunt. Extroverts everywhere! Oh, what's up, guys? You on your way back from class? Yeah, I just ran into Ruck a minute ago. We were in the midst of discussing the art of magic and photography. Why did three of the biggest social butterflies in the school suddenly show? Is there gonna be some bass battle over who's the most perky? I got it! Maybe I can sneak away while they're talking. 
So we, hooks arm, we're just on our way to eat your meal's food. You want to come with? Wait, I, I said I wasn't gonna. Edia's coming? I better keep my eyes peeled for flying pigs. You bet I'm coming. Can't pass in this once in a lifetime situation. Uh, uh, hold on. A chat with Edia. The Wild Days of Dessa Chamber is a rare opportunity indeed. I will gladly join you. Oh, um, uh, oh, uh, uh, the extroverts triple tick coercion. Be afraid, Idia. Be very afraid. Why do they keep acting like it's a done deal when I don't really know? There's literally no way I can refuse. What are you craving, Idia? Cooking a favorite would be the best way to get to know you. It's cool. I really do have other plans, so... Whatever Jamil makes is guaranteed to blow your mind. Come on, let's get a move on. It would be quite rude to revive late. Yes, we'd best hurry. Scoop! <laughs> okay, follow me! I like to think, like, Roop just scooped him up bridal style. <laughs> it's like, what is happening? 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 I keep telling you I have other someone please save me Ortho <laughs> Post Ganochi <laughs> Understood big brother Chat you heard him Post Ganochi We need to save him Wait no it's too late Have fun socializing big brother <laughs> because he is French! Oh my god, what? you can't just ask why someone's French. <laughs> Arlo! Call AXII! <laughs> okay, however, because we have no one from Diasomnia, we can do one more dorm one more time. Oh. So we want Savannah. Not you. Jamil's. Bills. Soundboard! Hey, Rin! Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> we got Bill, Jamil, Leona, Ace and Deuce. I'm seeing Leona come up in chat. Leona, Leona, Jamil, Leona. Oh my god, Leona. I wasn't expecting the demand for Leona. What? Well, I do have a nice voice for him. Yeah. Please let Jamil <laughs> have nice things! Eventually, eventually. Eventually. Jamil. Ooh! Jamil's living by one! My face always looks like this! <laughs> <laughs> or, I have an idea. I oh. need to use the bathroom. Okay. So I will give you guys a poll. <laughs> I forgot that was the one. Okay. La not cast. Last Vin. Vugd. Ja no, not Jack. Leona. Jamil. Go. I need to go to the bathroom. I have known this boy for a week and he seems tired of how swap about bust heads for him. Jamil's a good boy in his way. Ugh, you can have this. Hmm. Okay, Kyo's going to the bathroom. Okay. I'm gonna borrow the nice chair for a second. Oh, oh, the proper posture feels so nice. Hi, shot. Yeah, like Jamil Jamil goes through a lot, obviously, as as you can tell. But he uh like their relationship is so complicated by just their their roles in society and their families. Uh let's see. Uh, am I doing better? 
honestly, being able to just, like, join in here and distract myself is exactly what I need. So, yeah, this, this was a very good choice on my part to join in rather than, like, just wallow in my itchy footness. Uh, how am I doing in the canyon that Leona kicked me in? Uh, it's not bad down here. It's, uh, it's cool since it's lower, protected from the wind. I've never been in a real canyon now that I think about it. I've also never been to the Grand Canyon. That'd be neat to do someday. Can when I really want to go on a road trip sometime? Like, it, I feel bad about it. Oh, poll ended. Leona by a hair at 52%. I could, yeah. Well, uh, one uh, only thing keeping me from that is that I didn't actually eat lunch before stream, Woo! so okay. Then yeah, in during during the break, I'm gonna need to grab some. Uh, also, I don't know if you heard, but Leona won at fifty-two percent. Oh wow. 34 votes! <laughs> yeah, uh, apparently there was some spamming going on. Well, that's what it's used for. That's true. Whoop. I like the little, I like the little growly noises. Yeah, you, you really do love the, the growlies of the beast. Thank you! I miss you, boo -boo. <laughs> You like ammon. They don't like me! Not here. Yet. I will make them love me. I will tame these beasts. I am a beast tamer! Anyway, we're back. Leona. I'm being rude. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's him. Let's go! Amazing introduction. Oh, you want to be him? Yeah, of course. Little German. I'll 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 see what I can do. Yeah, cause you know him a Bavarian. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think Austria. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll I'll give it a shot. Usually, I just give him my standard dignified voice, but mm -hmm. I can I can give it a shot for this bit. Yet. How long do you intend to keep me waiting? The photographer is surely wondering what's become of us. Come, we mustn't dawdle. I already told you, I ain't going. Why in the world would I have my picture taken with you just for some measly school paper? Why? Because you and I are house wardens, and because the next feature is intended to acquaint new students to our dorms. Thus, I am obliged to place all alluring assets of Pompeii on display for their viewing pleasure. House wardens are the face of the dorm, as it were. There's nothing you can say that talking into getting prettied up over a school paper. Why not just write some spiel about us instead? A professional never cuts corners, and never would there be a truer tragedy than a spiel without an accompanying visual. You're coming. That is fine. <sighs> As well be arguing with a wall. Let's get this over with. Wait. You have failed to notice that a button on your... Have you failed to notice that a button on your vest is loose? Who cares? Still does what it's supposed to do. Uh uh. This won't do at all. The way it dangles makes you look no better than a common pauper. A what? This is why I detest Savannah Club. Each and every one of you is only more boorish and uncouth than the next. I pity your poor uniforms. I will safely assume you don't carry a sewing kit with you. 
as a proper gentleman of your age would. Do I rightly assume that as a prince you've been taught that an inability to attend to yourself is somehow acceptable? Uh, it's unbelievable that you and I both rank as house wardens. As I've no other choice, I shall deign to grant you the use of my sewing kit. Now fix that button at once. Um, why ever are you taking off your vest? Sorry, I'm being rude. But it would do me well for a dignified gentleman like you to show me how it's done. Why do I have to fix your button? Well, you don't have to. I'm perfectly fine going like this. But is this how you want me to look on such an important occasion? I. There he is, Vil Shonheit, known through all of Twisted Wonderland as the fairest of them all. Still, he must be awfully full of himself to not even spare a passing glance at who's standing next to him. I imagine that's what people think, seeing me like this next to you, but heck if I care. <laughs> Go on, show me how it's done. Since I'm so, what was it again, boorish and uncouth? Your smirk right now is utterly appalling. Give me your rest and be quick about it. Ha! Singing a new tune now, ain't ya? You are little more than a fine prop to decorate my stage, and a professional always looks after his props. I'm one heck of a pricey prop, though. Better show some gratitude. Have you no shred of dignity? If it weren't for this photo shoot, this rest would... Hmm? What is it? This button is similar to the others, but clearly different. This isn't one of the originals. You do know how to sew. Terribly slipshod work, of course. You could have tried to you could have tried to use a magic button. Who cares when you can barely notice it? Bah. I think you tricked me into fixing it for you. It wouldn't have mattered if you did or didn't, you know. Buttons always come back. Excuse me? Buttons... come back? Every time one of them comes off, I just hang my stuff in my room and the button's suddenly back on again. So there's never any point in putting in the time to fix it. Funny though, you can say I recall after ever casting a spell like that. That would be because you clearly never did. Someone is fixing them for you. Ruggy, I assume. So? Magic. Ruggy. Fixes itself either way. Ah! Uh, you are repugnant. The only thing you have going for you is a handsome face. Hmm? Ooh la la. What was that? This is why I hate spoiled princelings. Asked you. Yeah, it's always ruggy. It's always ruggy. And for a treat, I lied. Huh? Go on, Jamil's too. Jamil! My face always looks like this. Oh, look, it's fucking talking, Bill! Hey, you know, he ain't a princeling. He's He ain't spoiled either. Yeah. He works hard for his shit. Who's today? <sighs> Looks like we hit up lunchtime too late to get any seats. You wanna be Jamil or do you want me to be Jamil? Uh, I can give a crack at Jamil if you want, like, cause I... I don't know if I've done this vignette, so... Hmm. Like, I don't remember who all is in it. But, yeah, I can give a crack at Jamil. Cause I know we, we thought it'd be fun to do them in VR chat sometime anyway. Yeah. Pardon me, not having an accent prepared. Oh, I just do a very light fucking Mediterranean accent. Hmm. He's 
little Italy in them. Yeah, like, though, now that I know that, uh, like, Fed was getting a Saudi Arabian influence, that's an accent I can do some research on. It's never one I've attempted so far. I've attempted before. Me neither. <laughs> I see two open seats there. Excuse me, would you mind if we... Oh! Ah. Isn't Ruggie and Leona? Well, hey, we get Leona either way! Uh, do you want to be Ruggie? Do you want me to be Ruggie? Uh... I figure one of us should take each. Which would you prefer to take? Like, I can still keep being Leona. Okay. Then, yeah, I can give... <laughs> hey, guys! Not every day we see you in the cafeteria. True. I normally prepare lunch for us myself, but... Last night I scarfed down everything that he was saving for today! <laughs> Yummy! Merciful Sands. Why do you think I go to the trouble of preparing your lunch each and every day? I'm trying to keep you safe. <laughs> Sorry, you mean totally my bad. Wow. That was sheer magnanimous of Colleen. We're lucky the lunch here is is a buffet, so there's no need to check the poison. It's been ages since I ate something other than your food. You two done the yapping yet? Buggy, go get me the Hamburg steak. Why do you always pick the most popular things in the buffet? The line will take forever. I'll line up with you. What would you like, Colleen? Sorry, what would you like, Haim? Oh, uh, don't worry about it. I ate all our food, so let me stand in line instead to make up for it. There's really no need to. But I want to. I'll take care of it. So just tell me what to get. Okay? Mm. The cream pasta, then. One cream pasta coming right up. Be right back. Wait, 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 wait. Same. Leona King Scholar. From what I hear, he's a prince of some kingdom or another. He certainly acts the part of those indolent, haughty boils. How about you spit out what you want to say instead of staring? Oh, it's nothing. You just stand out so much that you're hard not that it's hard not to look. Sure. That's not what that face is saying, though. My face always looks like this. Steaming, conniving. Yeah, your eyes always glare like that too. That boy is green as grass. I can't imagine what he's thinking hanging out with a schemer like you all the time. He just doesn't get that any one of these nights could be his last, huh? You think I would hurt Helene? Outrageous! I have served him loyally since we were children, and not once has my mind wandered to such heinous deeds. Uh huh. You keep telling yourself that. We're back! Here's your cream stew, Jamil! Jamil! Stew! Thank you. Wait. Stew? Didn't I ask for pasta? <gasps> huh? You should? All I remember is you asked for something creamy. And you're half right, but it doesn't matter. Thank you. What it? What is it now, Halim? It won't do any good to stand there. Sit. I just forgot to grab a spoon. Be right back in a sec. Wait, you'll burn your hands if you run around with that stew. Put it down first. Here's that steak and rice you wanted. All good now? Not after you took so long. Now I want dessert. Dessert? Tell me that before I get out of line next time. Sucks. I know. I'll butter up Kaleem so he'll stand in line, so he'll line up for me instead. Ah the stew spilling! Will you put that bowl down? I'm begging you, stop running around with it. Maybe not. He, uh, looks kind of occupied. Now that was a decent meal. Yeah! 
<laughs> I really liked it, though not as much as Yemi's cooking. <sighs> we only came for lunch. We only came for lunch. Why do I feel so exhausted? You must have it rough looking after Kaleem, huh? I can't deny it. <clears throat> what? Yet, I think it would be far more painful to have to serve someone like Leona. Can't say I agree. Honestly, Kaleem's so nice it just made me uncomfortable. <laughs> Lit for every pot, I guess. Ruggy, Get a move on! A lid for every pot. Huh. That was a blast! Makes me think we should eat in the cafeteria more often. I'm sure I'd probably not prefer not having to cook every day, too. No, absolutely not. I would, in fact, prefer to make your lunches. You would? Yes. I never want to venture into the cafeteria again, so please. No more late night snacking. I may be stupid. And... That's it! That's a fact. He's... he's stupid, but, like, there's... there's a reason. Yeah, he hasn't had chances. Ortho! Oh yeah, tied up his fucking boat. Okay, that's it for right now. We're gonna take a bit of a break and then we're gonna come back with Miitopia. Yeehaw! Yeah, I'm, I've been craving a uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, so that's why I'm gonna make myself a lunch. It's stupid! Correct. Anything more for us, Ortho? Pumpkin Night no Kabocha no Hawa. Nitori Janaku Nageki no Shimaja. Sweet baby. Get some candy. Get some candy. This is not a thing they do. Yeah. Ooh, burp, burp. Yes, I will see you all momentarily. Yummy!